I was recently having a conversation with a client who wanted to start an export business in Dubai and as she intends to start an export business she was eligible to set up a company in both the free zone area in Dubai as well as in the mainland area in Dubai and considering the fact that she is eligible for both she asked me whether a free zone company will work out to be cheaper or a mainland company will work out to be cheaper hi everyone i am karan batra and i've been helping people expand to dubai and set up businesses in dubai for more than 13 years now and in this video i would be sharing with you the exact same advice which i shared with my client so to this client of mine who was eligible for both a mainland company as well as a free zone company i told her that see the license fees for a mainland company is usually higher than the license fees for a free zone company moreover to set up a company in the mainland a physical office space along with an ijari is required in simple terms an ijari is nothing but a registered rent agreement a lot of people they think that yeah there are a lot of co-working spaces in dubai and they'll be able to take some space on rent from a co-working space but let me make it very clear that if you opt for a seat in a co-working space they normally don't give you an ijari they will give you an ijari only when you lease the complete cabin and leasing the complete cabin will be very expensive this requirement of having a physical office space along with an ijari does not arise for a free zone company and that is why a free zone company works out to be much cheaper the free zone they will help you with the lease agreement on the basis of which your company would be registered and then the client asked me that she does not need an office space right now but in future she intends to hire employees and have an office space currently she is just starting up but maybe hiring employees in future so considering the fact that the client intends to hire employees in future and may need an office space i asked her how many employees does she intend to hire or say how much space would she be needing she was not sure as to how much space she would be needing as she does not know whether the business will grow or not her only concern was that when she is starting up her cost should be minimal if the business starts to grow she does not mind paying extra as then the business would be self sufficient and would be able to bear all the expenses on hearing this i advised her that if she intends to hire only a handful of employees then a free zone company will work out to be cheaper however if she intends to hire say 14 15 people or maybe more than that then a mainland company will work out to be cheaper the above advice holds true for most of the free zones see free zones like dmcc or adgm they would certainly be more expensive than the mainland area but in general most of the free zones they are cheaper than the mainlands and if somebody is planning to set up a company in a dmcc or adgm or similar free zones then certainly that person would not be cost conscious see startups normally don't go to dmcc or adgm startups normally go to free zones like ifsa or medan or rakesh or shams it is only the well established companies who normally go to dmcc or adgm this video is mainly for people who are just starting up and want to set up the business in minimal cost if you want to understand what is the approximate cost of setting up a company in dubai then you can watch this video right here wherein i talk about in detail about the various cost associated with setting up a company in dubai and if you're wondering why i didn't advise the client to set up an offshore company in dubai then let me tell you and make it very clear that we don't advise anyone to set up a offshore company in dubai as opening a bank account for an offshore company is extremely extremely difficult a person should either set up a company in the free zone or in the mainland area but setting up a company in the offshore area is not advisable at all so for this client she was getting eligible for both a free zone as well as the mainland and as the client was cost conscious we advised her to set up a company in one of the free zones i'm planning to create more such informative videos in future with respect to company setup in dubai so make sure you subscribe to this channel and if there's any topic which you want me to create a video about please mention it in the comment section below and i will try to create a video around that topic thank you